Happy Monday, everybody! Who the hell says that? Who says Happy Monday? There's nothing happy about Monday. But I guess maybe towards the end of the day, because it's Monday and on this channel here, that means we can talk about some future news. Welcome everyone, thank you for coming watch me, Sucks at Games. Live here on twitch.tv slash sucks at games and record it later on YouTube. I hope you brought your wallet because uh, we kind of need we kind of need to have that money prepared to just go spend on these lovely little things that are going on this week. Except for the fact that there really isn't much going to be talking about. We are going to be looking at mostly previews and other news tidbits, but nothing that you can really buy at this moment. Japan is currently in the midst of Golden Week, a wonderful holiday time for them. Uh, Western releases. Not so much going on right there, but we do have things that we can definitely talk about. So let's jump right into it, shall we, folks? I want to say this one here. I'm not too keen on the translated title of this light novel turned manga, turned anime, turned into a spaceship, Formula One racer, turned into a transform. Wait, no, sorry. No, just, just anime, anime. I'm talking about Saikano, How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend. Or the literal translation, How to Train the Ordinary Girl to Be a Heroine. Addict. I mean, just heroine, sorry. The latter, it makes more sense for this title, and a title that's about our male lead and his goal to make a visual novel. The skew beauty, skew, skew his cool beauties he turns to of course, for help, and the female classmate who he wants to model the main heroine after. Actually, you know what? With, with the premise like that, uh, both titles actually suck for that. <laughs> but I digress. We're here to talk about the upcoming figure by Good Smile Company based on the illustration and childhood friend of our male lead. Childhood friend. Of course, of course it's a childhood friend. Always has to be have the childhood friend character in these kind of titles where the male in existence, the only male in existence, is surrounded by only women. Of course, that doesn't sound like a typical plotline we haven't seen a thousand times before. But I digress. Good Smile Company preview their uh, prototype of their upcoming figure of Eridi Spencer Sawamura based on this official artwork right here. The figure features Eri getting dressed as she slips on her other stocking, the, a bow currently untied, and uh, another apparel that mm, have to have to wonder about. Have to wonder about. Yeah. So the question now is, you know, based on this preview, with the depiction of the picture and the actual figure, exactly how undressed is she, and how much fan service will this figure be delivering? I, for one, cannot be interested due to the idea behind this title and that it's another schoolgirl figure in the process of getting undressed. A thousand, thing, a thousand times before we've seen this. whoop de doo it, it, it looks like a fan service figure. The, the title itself just seems it seems to scream fan service. Uh, so let's move on to some, some more anime tropes that I can rant about, shall we? Previewed uh, on the Oniplex Twitter account, the company will be releasing an exclusive figure of Tosaka Rin from Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. This version of Rin here has her cosplaying as Archer. I'm sure fan art and doji have covered this uh, this before, given Archer's tight top and long boots with heels, the Zetai Roiki, and revealing stomach and bottom apparel. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I don't remember uh, this about Archer's outfit at all. Did I miss a few things? Did, did I skip a beat in terms of uh, the uh, Fate Night, uh, Fate Stay Night series? Something, something, something's not right here. I, I need to look up. I need, I need to look at some Archer uh, artwork. Maybe the fan art. Maybe the fan art will help me uh, remember this outfit for him. Though I would say, given the given the uh, <clears throat> certain um, liberations with Archer's outfit, uh, it, it might explain Rin's embarrassed expression. Although this is something I've seen before, as I said, this is something I've seen before in art and figures. The girl dresses in an outfit that's not their usual 
they're posing awkward, awkwardly, they're blushing and, and being so embarrassed about it. It's something I've never really found cute or adorable. Perhaps I'm just not drawn to it due to the fact that, you know, I've seen it so many times. No, no, th no the reason I'm not drawn to it is because it's just a dumb pose and a dumb trope in anime. However, however, let's keep in mind here, we better get Archer like this, emphasizing his build with the tightness all around. I I'm just saying, you know, think about it. It's only fair. Uh, minus the, the, uh, the awkward, oh, I'm so embarrassed pose. So we're off to a good start. Me ranting and raving. Can we? Can we? Can we move on to something that maybe I'm not going to rant about for several hours on end? Now that's more like it. Oh, that is that is more like it. Uh, if you're into more exclusives from Aniplex, being bundled with the special overlooking view 3D Blu-ray release. That's, that's fancy. That's fancy right there. Uh, uh, Karu no Kyokai will be a figure of uh, Rogi Shiki poised to strike Blade in Hand. Oh, yeah. It's a good looking figure and <laughs> definitely much better than what we've seen so far today. When you give me a figure with lots of motion for the action, from you know, the, you know, the figure itself, the, the pose they're doing in the closed movie, I will usually take notice. So the flow of the many strands of hair is great with Shiki's eye having an intense look to it. And she just looks at you, she's like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. You're fucked. Uh, the cupped hand lifted while the blade held out adds to the pose. Also, the way the clothes cling to her body from the movement does not look so ridiculous since it doesn't exaggerate on, <clears throat> well, certain aspects, certain areas of, uh, of the body. Though we can't really see from behind, so there may be some butt-hugging clothes back there. We don't know. But it's definitely a, uh, it's, it's a good-looking figure. It's far superior than, you know, uh, things we've got so far today. And it definitely has a great sense of motion and action going with it. Too bad it's an exclusive figure with a fancy Blu-ray DVD version that you probably can't watch. Now, next up is we're gonna be touching upon a preview I discussed earlier with some uh, with some additional uh, figures to sort of see. Mega House will be releasing a blank screen. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that cool? <laughs> there we go. Uh, Mega House will be releasing an individual uh, Digimon or um, Digimon monsters figures, figures of monsters. Digimon figures? <laughs> uh, they'll be releasing them as Digimon figures in scale with the PVC releases of the human cast. We had a small preview of the first set, but Mega House didn't really release uh, a photo of the many releases in the different stages, as well as all the other ones that they'll be releasing for the collections. So what we see right here, we, ha we have a bunch, a bunch of the uh, Digi collection, or Digi Kore 1 and 2, right here, unpainted, but there actually, there are some, there are some painted photos out there, but... Not this one, based on the uh, this event right here. So the reasons are going to include... Oh, here we go. Agumon, Gatomon, Patamon, Gomamon, Yaruman, Salomon, Yokimon, Yokomon, Palomon, Gabomon, Pitchmon, Pokemon, Potamon, Jesus, Goramon, Bioman, Poyomon, Tokomon, Tanemon, Kuramon, Punimon, Sumamon, Pabumon, Mochimon, and Pentamon. Christmon! Cripes! I swear, I, I swear, you know, I, I figured you know, I was doing a roll call there. Actually, I was doing a roll call. That, that's, that's a lot, Mon. That's a lot. So, I mean, if you're a Digimon fan, I say you were in quite for a treat with these figures getting released later this year. Certainly something to keep out for. Because when are you actually going to ever get a chance? If you're a Digimon fan, when are you actually going to get a chance like this ever again? So, keep an eye out for that. Of course, I can always tell you about that as well. Now, I must apologize about the next figure we're going to be talking about, guys. I am really, really, really sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The reason for that is... It's because it's Love Live again. I'm sorry, guys. You know, you just can't take a step anywhere without stepping in it. It's like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, my foot. Oh, it, oh, oh I stepped in Love Live. Oh, that's that's wipe that off. Jeez. Jeez. Everyone... Uh, for this one, everyone has to get on the uh, convenience store cross promotion action with Lawson. Big, big, big chain uh, in Japan. 
uh, convenience stores as a special campaign that started today when you today in Japan uh, uh, when you buy specific goods at this chain you will receive a special receipt to be used toward points to get various prizes uh, this includes things like trinkets pin sets uh, uh, fans you know the fans you hold in your hands you got you know swinging around uh, storage boxes and other goods with the idols of love live the one that probably has the most attention however the top prize is the original figure release of Sonoda Umi dressed in the Lawson uniform a usual specialty for figures when attached to the Lawson brand no actual image exists yet of this figure with what we have here presented just being a CG design it looks it, it, it's it's generic even the face just looks so bad I'm sorry is this a, is this an anime or is this amateur hour I mean, because we've seen some Love Life figures, and they look they they looked fantastic, they look tremendous, wonderful. What's up with this one? Hopefully, it's you know it's a CG design. Maybe it's just you know once the actual figure is you know shown, it'll look decent. Not that it matters because the way this set, honestly, guys, <laughs> this is an exclusive figure to 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 Lawson Brands, so you know, or uh, Lawson Chains. So why am I even talking about it? Why am I even telling you? Of course, again, you never know when that Love Life fan's like, uh, I gotta have it! How do I get it sucks? I gotta know! Specialty services. That's how you gotta do it. Look towards specialty services, look for proxy services. You never know who you might find be able to give you the hookup on this special edition. This is edition, uh, exclusive figure. Now, here's something for those who are addicted to the Nintendo crack known as the Amiibo. The company has released a statement today regarding the shortages. Oops, sorry about that. Regarding the shortages uh, for the Amiibo line of collectibles game peripherals. In the statement posted on the official Nintendo of America Facebook page, the company goes out to state that the sales had exceeded their expectations. Oh, really, Nintendo? Really? And they apologized to their consumers on the inability to purchase these lovely little items. Manufacturing of Amiibo figures have been increased to meet the demand, but Nintendo says that the demand for certain characters will still be an issue for the increased supply shipped. Nintendo is planning to re-release older Amiibo figures and says they will be they they will work better with um, providing details about releases. And then the the press release goes into a sales pitch for their other products to make use of the Amiibo figures and their upcoming cards. Blah 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 blah. Only time will tell, guys. Only time will tell if Nintendo can stay true to their word and that scalpers can be slowed down. Though, honestly, with the with this information, I can only see scalpers rubbing their hands with a crueler smirk on their face for the bigger cash opportunity due to the increased supply. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because honestly, at the same time, you know, Nintendo retailers, they kind of have to work together on this. Now, will that really stop online services? Will that limit? You know, will they limit supply? Who knows? Honestly, you know, I can't really see anything positive coming out. Of this. I can still see. I can just still see the scalpers going. <laughs> you can't stop us, Nintendo. These scalpers sound like that, by the way. Sound really like that. Finally, though, um, I want to mention that news it might be a bit scarce this week as as we start off the broadcast here. Um, Japan Japan's currently having the holiday uh, Golden Week. The Golden Week holiday. And so, lots of, lots of places shut down, no news really going to be available, and very few Western releases really catch my eye that are worth talking about for you to, to let you guys know about. However, however, Garage Kit Event Treasure Festa in Ariake 13 is happening today in Japan. An event that gathers the many sculptors showcasing their original works, works based on anime, games, and more. It's these kind of events that you get to see figures in amazing pieces that you would normally not see produced by the big figure manufacturers. Though some do actually get picked up and have a working agreement with uh, some of the manufacturers. So on Wednesdays, Wednesday's broadcast, I'm going to take a look back at this event and some of the figures that capture my attention that I, I feel may be worth sharing with you, the viewers. Otherwise, it's going to be a tough week talking about what is available. Oh, right, I forgot also, uh, and figure maker uh, Griffin Enterprises, the one who typically sponsors this event, will also be at the event, as always, typically with repaints of their crappy figures. 
we won't be talking about them though because honestly I don't want to be spending 50 hours to rant about how they are an atrocious, disappointing, unoriginal, overpriced maker of figures who all seem to share an exact face style that makes you wonder if their figures are just based on one mold and is just wearing a wig. No, we're, we won't be talking about that. We'll be talking about the, gra the garage uh, sculptors instead on Wednesday and their superior and more interesting works. So that does it, guys. That's it. Not much to talk about, but we have some news. We have some things to probably look forward to on Wednesday. Amiibos might be fixed. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we got some wonderful garage kits we're going to be looking at on Wednesday. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, that is not what I want. <laughs> otherwise, uh, if you do eventually want to find something, you know, do check out you know various places for imports. Amiami, Hobby Search, Hobby Link Japan, J List, Toys Logic, for all your Japanese army gaming figures. Otherwise, you can also go check out uh, for domestic goods at Big Bag Toy Store, The Toy Source, Toy Wiz, Sideshow Collectibles, Toy Arena, for all the Western goodness, though some of these shops will also carry some imports as well. So, Also, you can always keep updated and follow me here at Sucks at Games on Twitter, Facebook, Google+. You can also catch me every Friday and weekends, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, not only talking about collectibles, but we'll also talk about retro games, other games. I'll be playing video games as well every Friday and weekends, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Though, if you just want to talk figures, we can talk figures, we can look at the figures, and you can catch that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, also at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Though, your wall is safe this week. I will say that. Your wall is very, 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 very safe due to the fact that Golden Week is going on in Japan. So that's it. Very short, guys. I'm sorry, you know, there wasn't much going on. And probably gonna be the rest of the week is gonna be like that as well. So we'll see. We'll see. Until then, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for hanging out. You take care. And uh, oh, I guess I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, you know, fo follow me, all that jazz. You know, subscribe to my channel. Blah blah blah. You know the shio. You 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 YouTube users. You know what's all, what's all about, right? I don't have to tell you. If you're interested, you know what to do. Alright? Get out of here. Thank you for watching. Toys. Collectibles. Buy them. I love them. You should too.